This video has been very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> when I tell y'all, it is so dark in here. So the weather in Seattle is like usually pretty miserable, right? It is like abysmal today. Um, we've actually been getting a lot of like rain. We normally, so normally like Seattle rain, it's normally like a mist of some kind. It's where it's like a very kind of unsatisfying rain where it like, it's basically like a drizzle. It's a constant drizzle. But lately we've been getting like rain, like also we've been getting like howling winds. There's a wind advisory today. Um, we've been getting like howling winds and just like, just so much rain, which is like, it's nice because we had an extremely dry summer. So I guess we're just, you know, we're making up for it. Um, I also didn't, I haven't been in my studio for like four or five days and I forgot that I left the heat on. And so when I walked in here, I was like, why is it warm? <laughs> I was expecting to get it because normally my studio is super cold. Um, anyway, hi, hello, welcome to another video. I don't know what this is gonna be. It's basically just gonna be me trying to do things. So this week, okay, so for this week, our objectives are, I need to draw my Patreon postcard, get it ordered. I need to draw my Patreon printable, get that posted. And then I need to crochet gifts. Um, I have like a bunch of gifts that I'm working on. Um, hang on, I'm gonna take off this sweater. Please hold. Okay, there we go. Um, also this is from Big Bud Press. They recently re released a collection of their like basics. Um, and this blue is the most perfect blue that I've ever worn. Uh, also yes, I had to get a haircut. So let me show you the, let me show you some of the, let me show you some of the crochet stuff I've been doing. So I'm making a few blankets. Um, I've got making a few blankets. I'm making a blanket for my nephew. I'm making a blanket for my sister's new baby that she has coming in February. And then I'm also making a blanket for um, my best friend's baby because she's turning one and I'm going to be in town for her birthday, uh, for her birthday party, which I'm extremely excited about. So it's gonna be my first time meeting her in person. Can't wait to squish her, her little cheeky, her little cheeky. But I was originally making a one row repeat blanket for my nephew using this yarn. Cause I sent my sister a picture of like three different cakes. This is the Karen skinny cakes, by the way. Um, I sent my picture like, I sent my sister like three different cakes. And I was like, which one of these do you think your son would like best? It was this rainbow one. There was like kind of like a green, blue, like dark green one. And then there was another one that was like kind of more pastel-y. And my sister was like, well, I like the pastels, but I'll ask the kid what he wants. Um, and he picked the rainbow, which made my little gay heart very happy. So um, I was originally making him a one row repeat using this yarn. So essentially I think I was doing like, um, I think I was doing a Suzette stitch. So I was basically just like, you know, I had a, ch I had a chain of like, I had a foundation chain, it was like 120 chains long and I was just going back and forth. I have realized that one row repeat blankets are not my thing. I've tried to do like three, I have finished one successfully and it's because it was really small, but they're really boring to me. They like, I, I'm a fairly slow crocheter. So even when people are like, it'll only take three hours to work up. I'm like, well, I don't like working with blanket yarn. Um, uh, I barely even like working with bulky yarn. I pretty much like worsted or arid is about as thick as I'll go. Um, and so I'm just like, okay, well then I guess, <laughs> I was like, well, I don't want to do this kind of blanket. And I had gotten about, I don't know, maybe like 40 rows in on that blanket. And I could tell that the sides weren't even and the bottom row was like, it was kind of fading out like this a little bit at the bottom, which, mean, which, was, which meant my tension was kind of like a, Either I was missing a stitch or my bottom, my foundation chain was just too loose, whatever. And I probably could have fixed it in blocking. It was probably that kind of issue. But I was just like, this is boring. I can't, th th these kinds of patterns, I cannot keep my brain occupied long enough for. Uh, I'm also working on a scarf, but I think scarves are a little different because it's so, it's only, you know, it's only a chain of like 30. And so it's such a quick back and forth. Um, and so it's way more rewarding, much faster. 
<laughs> I'd work on that scarf for half an hour and I've added like six inches. Whereas like if I work on that blanket for half an hour, I've added two rows. You know what I mean? I changed patterns and now I'm doing the Daphne Afghan from TL Yarn Crafts. Uh, I'll have a link in the description to that pattern. It's a free pattern on, um, it is a pattern on Tony's blog, but she also has a video detailing how to make it. Um, and so I'm making that. And so I'm using this cake yarn. So this is actually DK weight. And then I asked, and then this is Karen Simply Soft and this is worsted weight, but honestly it works, it's fine. This, I don't really like to use acrylic yarn. These are both acrylic, which like is an ideal, but it's fine. These are both acrylic yarn and I didn't order this, but I got it in a package from Lovecrafts. And I was like, I guess I just have this yarn now. And then I was like, oh, you know what? This blanket is actually a perfect way to use up this yarn. I had to buy one more skein in order to finish out the blanket. But basically what it is, is that it's four gray, like grainy stripe triangles like this. And then you seam them together in the middle. Um, her pattern makes it so that each triangle is 26 rows and it measures about 35 inches. I'm gonna be making it 30 rows just to make it a little bit bigger because uh, my nephew is three and a half, so, you know, he's not a, he's not an infant anymore. He's a good sized toddler. So, um, I'm making that blanket. And honestly, this has been working up so fast. I've only spent one day working on this. I did this all last night. Um, and it's just way more engaging for my little ADHD brain worms. Um, so I'm working on this, really happy with it so far. I'm also excited to see how all the different, cause obviously now it's just like the brown and the blue. I also, I did just get into the green, but I'm excited to see when like the yellow and the red comes into play and stuff. I really like this rainbow uh, because it's just, it's not just like your standard, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue thing. It's got, you know, it has browns and kind of like a deeper green in there. So it's a little bit more of an interesting rainbow, which is why I like it. Um, and why I was determined to use it cause my nephew like picked this out and I was like, I want to make him a blanket with the yarn he picked out. So I'm going to be making this. Honestly, with the way this is going, I might even be able to have this finished by the end of the week, which would be incredible. Um, and then actually, so for my best friend and for my sister's new baby, I'm using the same pattern. I'm using another pattern from TL Yarn Crafts. Can you tell I like TL Yarn Crafts? Tony is incredible. I'll also have the pattern to the pattern in the video for this blanket linked in the description box. This is her sweet granny baby blanket. Um, and it's made up of grainy squares on the bias. And I'm just over halfway done with this one. This one takes a little bit longer than the other one, <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Um, and she calls this design, it's an heirloom blanket. Uh, so this is, you know, designed to be passed down for generations. So this one is made using um, Shine from, uh, it's made using Shine from Knit Picks uh, in worsted weight, Shine Worsted. And it is so soft. It's quite heavy, um, but it is like, it is so soft. <laughs> um, it's 60% Pima Cotton, 40% Modal. Uh, Modal, I think, is like a partially synthetic man-made plant fiber of some kind. I don't know. But my friend is vegan and he specifically asked, he was like, hey, please don't use any animal fibers. And I was like, you got it, pal. So, um, we're do I, I did this. So this is beautiful and I love it. I'm using the same pattern for my um, sister's other baby blanket. I'm using some different colors in hers. I think I'm using, ooh, I'm using like a gray and like these two really beautiful, I'm using some gray, some greens, and like, I think there's like a cornflower blue in there. It's gonna be, oh, and there's a mustard yellow in there. It's gonna be gorgeous. Um, but I'm very happy with this. Very happy with the progress I'm making. Um, also, I have, I was weaving my ends in as I was going, but um, I was streaming, I was doing a crochet stream fairly recently and someone was like, hey, actually don't weave in your ends until you've blocked, um, or like don't cut off your ends until you've blocked. So these ends are actually all weaved in, but I've essentially left the tails so that way when I block it, there's like a little bit more room because they were like, one time I blocked a blanket and unfortunately some of my ends came out because like I didn't leave the tails long enough and it was really hard for me to weave them back in. And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm doing that. So then, and then I have that other blanket. So basically I'm like, okay, finish these two blankets and then I can finish the last one. And then I have a hat to make and then I have the scarf. So 
since I changed patterns for my nephew's blanket, I feel way more on track, which feels good. Um, so I have that going on. And then I have, like I said, my Patreon stuff, which I think I'm going to, I, first I'm going to record my Patreon podcast. So I'm going to crochet while I do that because then I can keep my hands busy. It's easier for me to talk when I have something to do with my hands. Um, so I've noticed like when I do my Patreon podcast, I basically just crochet and chat. It's really nice. Um, and then I'm going to do my Patreon principal and then my Patreon postcard stuff. Um, yeah, and then I'm also trying to figure out my streaming schedule for this week. Um, if y'all don't know, I stream like three days a week on Twitch. I know that I upload YouTube videos fairly infrequently right now, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that I, <laughs> I've kind of, I'm having a hard time remembering what I love making about YouTube videos because I love, I love having like a log of stuff to look back on, but frankly, the making process of YouTube videos has just gotten really tedious and difficult for me. And I really like streaming because streaming doesn't require any editing. So I basically just like entertain people for four hours and then I'm done. <laughs> um, so um, while I kind of refigure out my YouTube stuff, if you want to follow me on Twitch, um, there's also, I keep all my VODs. So I have loads of like content for you to sift through if you're looking for more of my ramblings. I just finished my playthrough of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It was my first playthrough of it. And I also finished, uh, or not finished, but I'm currently playing through Omori. Um, and I have some Animal Crossing videos on there, some Genshin streams, some art streams. I do quite a few art streams actually as well. So um, check me out on there if you like. And, uh, but for now, I'm going to crochet, record my Patreon podcast, and then get drawing. So yeah, cool. Before we get into the rest of the fun crafty times, I want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Y'all know the deal by now. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that is there to help you build the portfolio, website, online shop, etc. of your dreams. I have been using Squarespace for the past four years now to run my own website, and I've truly loved using them. They have loads of beautiful, highly customizable templates to choose from, and you don't need to know anything about code in order to make your website look super rad. They have powerful e-commerce tools to help you run your online store with ease, smart image scaling so you can trust all of your beautiful photos are gonna look great no matter what, and 24 seven customer support. So if you need their help, they've gotcha. If you have been wanting to build your own website or portfolio, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you are ready to launch your beautiful new website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Cheyenne Barton for 10% off your first purchase, or you can use the code Cheyenne Barton at checkout, whichever you prefer. Thank you so, so much to Squarespace again. Y'all rock. I love you. And now on to the crochet. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. And I can make it yell. Twenty-four. Sheesh, look at that. Another one. Just that one. An AC unit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm back from Oh my god. So the reason oh my god, hang on, sorry. Sorry, jurors. So the reason I'm yelling is because I ordered a dress from so okay. Okay, so the reason that I'm yelling is because the movie that I was in in twenty nineteen uh, it's finally premiering this weekend. It's premiering on November 21st. Um, it's going to be available to watch on different platforms after the fact. I'll give you details later. But um, the premiere is this weekend and I ordered myself a selkie gown as like a little treat because I was like, I've wanted a selkie gown for ages. I don't have like a fancy, fancy dress. I'm probably going to be super overdressed because the premiere is at 10 a.m. And it's like a daytime premiere, but I was like, I'm gonna be so overdressed. I don't care. I'm just gonna stunt on everyone there. Um, so I ordered it and 
it was supposed to, I got a notification from DHL that it was going to arrive on the day after the premiere. It was going to arrive on November 22nd. I just got a notice, it's getting delivered today. So I'm gonna get to wear, I'm gonna get to wear this, I'm gonna show right here, I'm gonna get to wear this gown on Sunday. And I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm gonna look so good. I'm gonna look so good. I'm gonna like maybe put my hair up. Oh my god, I have to get my nails done. I'm so excited. So this is a very special unboxing. So y'all know the um, the Sugar House Co. ceramic palettes that like everyone loses their minds over, rightfully so. I finally got one. <laughs> Oh my god. These, so one, obviously, so hang on. So it's a wife and husband duo, I believe. Um, they're based in Nova Scotia. And um, because it's, you know, it's the two of them, everything's handmade. And so naturally, their restocks are, you know, kind of limited. And their palettes always sell out like crazy. I happened to check my email and I saw that they had just done a restock. Um, and all of the palettes were sold out except for their eight pan paint palette. So that's the one that I got. Of course, it's like so securely wrapped. See, you can you can pack you can pack fragile things without bubble wrap. You can pack it just using packing paper and it will arrive just fine. So oh my god. <laughs> wow! Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Look at this! Is that not the most beautiful palette you have ever seen? So, like, their trademark is this kind of like speckled glaze that they use. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is my first ever, like, I have another porcelain palette that uh, Connor got for me, but this is like my first, like, handmade ceramic paint palette. Um, and I'm, I'm in love. Look at that. I'm gonna be streaming at four today, so I only have, and I was doing some admin work at home, so we only have a few hours in the studio, but um, I might try and paint something with this. I was gonna try, actually, my hand at painting my um, November postcard. I was gonna try my hand at painting it traditionally. So we can, uh, maybe we can see how that goes. Jesus, look at that. I'm just, oh, I love it. So actually before, um, before uh, we get started painting, um, the ever, ever so lovely Liz Fuller um, of twitch.tv slash ipaperbs, I want a giveaway for a print of one of her little burb paintings, and it arrived. I'm so happy, and I'm so happy. Look at this, look at this little print of this beautiful burb. Oh my God, this print quality is incredible. It looks like she painted it on this. So Liz is a scientific illustrator. She's clearly wildly talented. Um, she has a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash I paint burbs, and she just paints burbs. She's amazing. Um, can't recommend her stuff enough. And I'm so happy that I have this. And I have all of these thrifted frames. So I'm gonna put this burb in this one. It's a little kitschy, but I think it's really cute. Um, and I'm excited to add this little bird friend to my wall. Ah, yay. Okay, cool.
proud of myself. I filmed two auditions, I taped two auditions this morning and uh, I got some admin work done. Um, so now I get to paint. It's already, obviously I'm getting into the studio so late. It's 2.30, so um, I don't need to be home around five because I'm making soup for dinner, but I have to finish this painting because it's my um, November postcard. So um, I'm gonna try and finish this painting in two hours. I think I can do it, but um, let's see how it goes. so far are these four squares. So we've got that first corner of our blanket complete. So you want to continue in this way and I think the easiest way to keep everything straight, to keep everything in order, is just to continue to work down in rows completing your full squares. So he's got a little face. Um, unfortunately my camera my camera batteries have really been acting up, so um, unfortunately I wasn't able to capture it, but I kind of fudged this doily. But what I'm gonna do, because I can't decide what I wanna do with the window, part of me was thinking of doing like, um, part of me was thinking of doing like a like kind of, like a dark deep blue with like little stars or like falling snow or something. Um, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan it in, see, what I think, and then I'm probably gonna make some edits to it in Procreate, like I'm probably gonna fix up the doily a little bit. Um, I wanna lighten, I wanna like make his face, like his skin a little bit brighter. I wanna add some stripes to his sweater. Yeah, so we're gonna scan him in. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think he's very cute. And then I just used, I made a little forest of colors to use up all the extra paint on my palette, but I might go in and finish doing some stuff on that too, but uh, I also, I did this on the second page of my sketchbook and I haven't done anything here, but I might tackle that uh, either tomorrow or Friday, because Friday is just like fun painting day, so we shall see. Um, but I'm going to get this sweet boy scanned in and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I wanted to do a little tape peel. Hopefully it doesn't rip the paper, but by golly we're going to find out. Ooh! Crispy. Also crispy. This is MT brand uh, washi tape, which is the best washi tape around, but oh, look at that crisp, crisp bottom. Yeah, great. And just the left side. Oh. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. He looks so good. So clean and tidy and nice. Oh, I love him. I'm gonna draw a little border around him because I can't help myself, but he's so cute. Cute. I love him. Yeah, I think a snowy background back here, I think that would really help with the values. Still the thing I struggle with the most when it comes to painting is values. Because the red and the yellow in the teacup are very similar, which is why I want to add some stripes to a sweater to help differentiate them a bit more. I might add some darker blue in here. I'm not sure how I feel about this shadow. I'm definitely going to tidy up the, do the doily. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy scanned in. I feel like recording screens is always a bit of a nightmare and also my battery is going to die any moment. But look, I think the scan looks great. Um, I adjusted the colors a little bit, made this like totally white. And so now I'm just going to airdrop it on my iPad and um, 
mess around, see what's up. I do also need to go home soon, so I might just airdrop this on my iPad and then bounce. But uh, yeah, yay, yay. since we've seen this angle, hasn't it? So obviously my desk has changed a lot since I feel like the last time y'all saw my setup. Um, I'm a gamer now, so um, I have my little like overhead webcam for streaming sketchbooks. I have my camera right there. I have my, my fancy mic. I have my like rainbow glowing PC. I have my dual monitors. I have a stream deck. I've got my switch hooked up because I'm streaming Animal Crossing. I got the setup. I'll get, if you guys are interested in like a tour of my, um, I don't know, gaming setup, let me know, streaming setup. Um, it would probably be, I was thinking of doing like a two-part video, so like part one would be like my hardware, basically like how my, a little tour of like my desk basically, and then part two would essentially be like how I set up OBS studios for streams and like a very basic rundown of leader and board uh, Which is what I use for like channel point events and stuff, but that's a lot. So we're not gonna do that um, I do want to show you my I finished my third square For this blanket, so I only have one left um, Which is very exciting. So Let's see. I've already woven in my ends on these and stuff. So they look beautiful, so it's gonna be four triangles seamed together in the middle with a little border. Um, this blanket has worked up super quickly, so again, if you guys need last minute crochet gifts for the holidays, can't recommend enough. And you can also make it as big as you want, like this is pretty, this is big blanket size, because again, it's for my nephew. So it's like, you know, maybe gonna be about 40, 41 inches when it's done being blocked. Um, but, Highly recommend, um, yeah, highly recommend uh, maybe making it bigger if you want to make like a throw or something. So, uh, I actually, speaking of a gaming setup, I wanted to show you all some, oh my god, it's getting so bright, hang on. I had my exposure fixed because it makes it easier to edit later, but, but there's a lot of clouds and so the sun's coming in and out, so it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, but I uh, actually wanted to show you guys something that I made. Um, on that I made for stream yesterday. Uh, so let's hop over here, shall we? <laughs> oh, would you look at that? I have also acquired a pair of rad headphones during that transition. Wild. Uh, hey. <laughs> uh, also, again, the sun. What are you, what's going on, bud? Huh? God, this is, the, the white balance is just gonna be, well, Okay. I. Eh. This is like kind of artistic, but also mostly just annoying. Um. Anyway, I don't know if I want to go through and show you guys all my different scenes because I don't have any games running right now. But what I can do, at least, oh my god, is um. Here, I can show you my desktop capture. That's a nightmare. Um. Look, it's my desktop, and I have this cute little window that I made that I'm extremely proud of that I love a lot um but what I really wanted to show you guys is uh this new redeem that I created I created some new graphics for it um so on my streams I have something that you can redeem called tea time which is basically where like we take like a full 10 minute break I have a timer that gets put up on the um screen and everything just to like uh 
yeah, I have a timer that goes up on the screen, uh, and it's just essentially gives me a long break, gives viewers a long break, means I can go get, you have the time to like brew yourself a full cup of tea, so you, your, your tea has time to steep and all that stuff. Um, I've had it turned off for a while because um, I wanted to create like a special little something to go with it, and I did, and this is what it looks like. Yay! Um, I'm so happy about it. So, uh, I think it's so cute and so beautiful. <laughs> also, my audio um, monitoring is off, so I wasn't able to hear the little sparkly sound. Let me see if I can I do it again. No, it's on a cooldown. You can only redeem it once every one and a half hour, so. <laughs> and I don't want to go into my Twitch settings and fix that. But, um, yeah. So that's my cute new little redeem. I can also show you some of my other ones. I have a face zoom. For dramatic effect during streams that one gets a lot of use especially during omori which i'm playing through right now i have this one for real <laughs> because i love my boy ryuji um this one was actually animated by my friend soph um at soph uh soph underscore uh on twitter she's a very very talented animator ah <laughs> i used to have a redeem where every t someone would redeem ah uh, and i would just do it in person but it's so much easier that now I just have it autoplay so I don't have to like stop what I'm doing or remember to go back and do it. Um, let's see, I also have this one. Wahoo! That's my voice doing that toad impression. I have a killer toad impression. So, oh, thanks for the follow, lovely Mandy. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching this video, but thanks for the follow. Let's see, I also have this one. I, this is my favorite. It doesn't get redeemed very often, but I'm gonna keep it up because I love it. Objection! So, and then uh, I also have Give Sophie Kisses. Um, I want to make some kind of event for that one. So maybe I'll make it where like Sophie pops up at the bottom. So that way, because if I get a visual or like if I get like a sound cue for each redeem, then I don't miss them. Or otherwise my mods have to be like, hey, someone redeemed this like 20 minutes ago. So, and then I have this, which I'm going to show you guys because I spent like four hours making this and I'm so proud of it. So, um... Uh, here. Start! So this is a little like stretching mini game that I made um, where basically we take a 60 second stretch break and I I can't even remember how I did this but I basically just spent like four hours creating this little like video filter, um, editing the music together, making the little animations. I actually need to stretch so this is good for me. And then I'm using um, Dating Game Start from Undertale. So thanks, Toby Fox, for making your music royalty free. <laughs> Finish! There we go. And then it fades back. So uh, I'm very proud of that one. And that redeem wasn't working because I, I had forgotten to like fix... I had changed the name for it and I had forgotten to fix it in Leader and Board. So it just wasn't going off. But um, that's what I wanted to show you. So... It's Friday. I actually I have some ad I have some calls and things that I need to make. And I actually need to go to the office because I have some documents waiting there. Um But uh yeah, I'm actually gonna leave you here. So uh I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a grand old day. I hope you're having a good one. Um and I hope you've had a lovely November. I hope you have a beautiful December. I hope your holidays go well. Um whether or not you're celebrating anything, I just hope you have a lovely winter time. <clears throat> and uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a little goodbye screen on my streams um, just so you guys can <laughs> again so I can show you what's up uh, come follow me on Twitch if you want I stream three days a week so uh, in the interim between videos if you want Potter said a meeting I will see you guys later <laughs>